Howdy everybody, Pseudobox here from GG. It's been a while, but we're back here to talk about uh, Thunder Smash, uh, the $28,000 pool event that happened over the weekend. Uh, if you missed it, this is your chance to get the highlights for everything, so let's get into it. So the very first thing that I want to highlight about Thunder Smash is Larry Lur's performance, performance, performance this weekend at Thunder Smash. He recently just got picked up by T1, which is a super important organization in esports. Uh, really cool that he was finally pick up a top tier sponsor like that. And at this tournament, you know, he really uh, showed us what he's been grinding, uh, what he's been working on. He whipped out all three of the spaces. Uh, at this tournament so he started off with wolf when that didn't work out he pulled out the falco and the fox and surprisingly the falco was the most uh, uh successful one of them all this weekend it was really cool to see uh, i know there's been a lot of gripe about lack of character diversity at the top levels of smash like you always see like olimar or peach or you know wolf uh, so it was really cool to see larry Lur pull out the falco and be really successful with them obviously he can do a lot of work and larry Lur showed that he can put uh you know his melee main uh into action here in ultimate uh what really highlights this is larry's last stock situation against charlie in their set in the beginning of the set he went with wolf that didn't work out so he went to falco won a game with that went to fox won a game with that uh, but lost the next game and in the fifth game he went back to the Falco and showed him um, you know this Falco was not a fluke uh, I can do a lot of things with this character and I'm gonna mess you up next thing I want to highlight is Prodigy and how he did at this tournament so if you don't know who he is uh, he's Prodigy he is sponsored by Armada and he's only 14 years old he's a 14 year old from SoCal and he's doing crazy things with his Mario as you know the commentators mentioned in his sets he has this uncanny ability to know exactly where you're going to be like two seconds before you're going to be there so it was crazy watching him especially in the set versus salem you know land all these insane fair spikes uh with mario if you've ever played mario you know that uh his forward air his fair is not a fast startup move you really need to read your opponent in order to nail uh, that spike and he does it like over and over again and if you're saying hey snake is like an easy character to spike because of his recovery and it's so slow well he also did to myron uh so many times and myron obviously is one of the best Olimar mains in the world uh, and he and, and Prodigy was still able to catch Myron with spike after spike after spike you know it was awesome to see him uh, he's very young he's kind of like MK Leo-esque in terms of how uh, much potential that he has and you know he's even getting a better start because he is in America and he doesn't have to worry about visa stuff like you know MK Leo did you know since he's a Mexican citizen so it's really exciting to see what he can do and uh, hopefully he'll be able to travel to more majors this year now before we get into the final and top highlight we've got to talk about some honorable mentions uh, you've got the buzz obviously because he won the tournament you see him like holding this fat stack of cash this the twenty thousand dollars that goes to first place uh, great job for the buzz and uh, you know showing that he can prove his new sponsor team liquid really proud in the same team uh, team liquid uh, hbox was also at this tournament not only did he do an amazing job as a commentator but he also was uh, really fun to watch as a competitor as well um, you know no one expected him to win the tournament or anything like that but his Jigglypuff is like stupid fun and what I mean about that is is obviously he's got great fundamentals being the best number uh, being the number one melee player in the world um, obviously he knows smash like any game doesn't matter uh, but what's really fun about him is he is not nearly as conservative in ultimate as he is in melee he'll go for those ridiculously hard reads uh, because puff kind of has to do that he goes for the crazy sing uh, reads where he tries to catch you with sing and then get uh, rest you or punish you in some way um, he'll go for really hard rest reads that have no setup whatsoever they're just raw rest reads um, he'll also like you notice like even getting up off of ledge like he'll attack almost like 90% of the time which is you know bad competitively but really fun to watch um, definitely a uh, a different speed from his melee jigglypuff 
So tons of fun to watch. I uh, highly recommend you watch his set with Mr. R. It's it's ridiculous. So the number one highlight that I want to bring up is uh, Esam and MVD set. So as you probably know, MVD and Esam are like best friends. They used to be on the same team, Panda Global, before MVD moved to World's Best Gaming. You know, unfortunately, they had to go against one another. At least it was in winners. Um, in this tournament being friends for being friends and training partners for such a long time You knew that it was going to be a tight set because uh, they'd be able to adapt to one another. They'll uh, be able to read each other really heavily and um, You know really understand the gameplay and the win condition of the other player uh, that and it's also Pikachu versus Snake. Um, tons of projectiles floating around. Uh, they're all trying to get in. Uh, it's going to be super scrappy. It's going to be like one hit in and then like combo for Pikachu or one hit in and then like really hard punish for Snake. So this set was no different. Uh, back and forth, back and forth. Um, ultimately, MVD did take the set. But he like the way that they did it was in such crazy fashion that, you know, it was a ton of fun to watch. So that's uh, it for today's episode, guys. Uh, we upload a new episode every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so make sure to subscribe. If you like this video, make sure to hit that button. Um, also, make sure to download the Atis.gg app where you can see you know, a ton of this information on the app. You can see all the results for Thunder Smash and you know upcoming tournaments uh, this weekend or in this month um, for you to watch out. So thanks, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.